My name is Lutfi. I am a Malaysian and I studied in Indonesia for a medical school for three years. So as a medical student, I tend to see things from a healthcare perspective, especially problems associated with people in the rural areas, where doctors couldn't reach them and they couldn't come to the hospital. The whole thing started when my family and I were approached by an ethnic minority in Cambodia seeking donation for a school fund. So later, we decided to pay them a visit in Cambodia. It's true enough, they really need help. There was a time when we went to a house of an elderly woman. She has been complaining of blurry vision and was prescribed various medications for her treatment. But the problem was not that the medication was ineffective, but rather she couldn't get to the clinic to get the medication and pay for it. So when I came back, I was really motivated because I have the knowledge, but I haven't applied much. So I talked to my closest friends who are also medical students, accounting students, architects, and we say, why not we try to set up an NGO which will be the first to raise funds to set up a hospital. We look at healthcare beyond the hospital boundaries. If you think about it, is it sufficient to treat the patient and then send them back to the condition that make them sick in the first place? Like you treat a person with a lung infection for example and you send them back to the house with holes in the roof? So this is where we come in. We aim to look beyond that, to treat the community, to include nutrition, shelter and to educate them with healthcare in a holistic manner. Our NGO will be two years old this May. We have a building reserve, but we are in need of a lot of more funds. So we set up an online donation page. We go from university to university to promote our cause. And sometimes we do health screening in KL, including giving talks to the public. At least twice a year, we plan trips to Cambodia and do mobile clinic projects. We have volunteers from all over Malaysia and last year we have brought along 20 trained volunteers for this program. Working with a local NGO, we set up tents and HQ for our operations. We had a turnout of around 150 participants from the community which was a surprise because we expected maybe around 100 from the whole area. You see, there's so much suffering in this world. Step back and reflect on it. When you reach the end of your life, would you think about your bank account? Would you think about the material success? I don't think so. Happiness and success lies in knowing what you have done for others.